know, for being a trainer for so many years, I was really acting like a stupid idiot for a certain period of time. And I want to share a little bit of a personal story with you very briefly about how all of my experience with doing all the, the functional stuff that was kind of hot in the late 90s and early 2000s, all the bands and stability balls and BOSUs and creating, you know, creating imbalances on purpose to make people, uh, uh, you know, be able to improve their strength, proprioception and all kinds of stuff, body awareness, body control. Anyway, I got so into doing so many lifts, implementing those types of exercises that I started to go away from the core lifts, the, the compound lifts that really deliver on size and strength, right? The ones that release the, the flood of anabolic hormones that we all want to be able to become the alpha male, right? So I had a little bit of an awakening moment. Mike uh, Westerdahl and I have been friends for a long time and he was really heavy into powerlifting in like 2006, seven, eight. And that's right around the, the time just after I had been doing all this, uh, you know, kind of, I don't want to say a worthless exercise, but not the hardcore stuff, the hardcore lifts with the heavy weight for a period of time. So after talking with him, being around him, he was massive at the time, lifting all kinds of weight. I started to refocus my efforts, started to get back into doing the core lifts and, and deadlifting and stuff like that. And then I blew out my balls, if you can believe that. That's right. I actually had a, an injury that's somewhat common, 10-15% men have a varicose seal, which is basically like having a varicose uh, vein or veins in your scrotum. And it was extremely painful. It, all the pressure from you know not having done the big lifts with heavy weight for a period of time, all of a sudden, you know, I'm trying to pull 300 plus pounds off the ground and my body just was like, no, I don't think so. I wasn't prepared for it. I lost the ability to work with heavy weight from, from doing all that lightweight stuff. So what's my, what's my point here? My point is never go away from the core lifts. Never go away from compound lifts. I'm not saying that you have to be lifting 400, 500 pounds. That's great. If you're a power lifter, especially if you're a competitive power lifter, lifting five, 600 pounds is, is a goal of yours. But sometimes just being able to do the core lifts with reasonable loads, like two and a quarter, 275, stuff like that, there's a lot of guys out there that, that can't do it. They lack the technique, they maybe lack the desire, uh, they lack the just the the experience, they lack the, just the fundamentals, there's, there's something lacking, right? You want to always incorporate them on some level, a variation of them. You want to lift, uh, uh, on occasion, a high percentage of your one rep max. Doing five by five stuff, doing triples, doing sets that are 80 to 90% of what your one rep max is. Why? Why? Because of what it offers you. It offers you this unleashing of anabolic hormones that doesn't happen when you're doing 10 to 15 reps on everything all the time.